Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen Addicts Anonymous and what better thing for an addict to do but to buy a new ship. Yes, the Freelancer variants were released yesterday. This is the Freelancer MIS, a limited time sale in the real world and a limited production version in the virtual world. This is a military version. It comes complete with a coat that your character could wear to keep you safe from wind and cold on any planet that you might land where you could breathe. The premise of this ship is that it was a military version that was a missile boat. It could handle up to 50 missiles. Yes, 50 missiles. And that's up to. It doesn't mean it ships with them. This is the one that a few months ago um, broke into the verse through somebody data mining. And it's the one that has the two little teats on it in the front. Um, I've been in and out of this ship. I will be doing a complete new freelancer review in the future as soon as I get my max and dirt in the hangar. And that's all I have for you on this. The good news for today is the two next generation starship contestants are in the hangar today. And I feel that it is an awesome deal. First up, is the Shark Collectives? No, this is not the Shark Collectives. This is the Four Horsemen's Redeemer. This is my favorite of the two, but oh my god, I'd buy either one in a heartbeat. It's a hard, hard, hard decision that all of us and the judges are going to have to make tomorrow. We are not allowed inside the ships, but I can tell you, just based on what I'm seeing here, the ship is kick butt. It is absolutely beautiful. Kind of we weird looking without the weapons on the turrets. We're not allowed inside of it, so I can't go in there and show it to you. But so far, this is an amazing looking ship. And it's by far... Well, I, I don't want to knock the other one. And I hate pulling favorites. I really, really do. Because... I'm telling you, Shard Collective's ship looks amazing too. This is just my favorite. There's just, everything about this is just screaming gunship to me. And um, from the ramp in the back where you enter to the scissor mounted thrusters, the unique look and feel of this ship, just amazing, just amazing. And I'm gonna let you make up your own mind because for me to sway anybody, it would be doing the two contestants a, a huge injustice. You need to look at their their two designs and choose which one you like the most. I love the cockpit layout in this one. I love the way that people get in and out of the turrets. The interior, these guys are smoking hot. Amazing with the way that they have put together the interior of this ship. And because I love the ship right behind it, the Avenger, the... Aegis Redeemer, just they just look so much so good together, and I think it's pretty cool how in engine they just happened to uh, put my redeem well not my redeemer the redeemer right in front of my Avenger so I could see the resemblance and how they'll look together. So let's go around the ship one more time and then let's jump over to the boom slang. Okay. And now here we are in front of the boom slang and again just a beautiful ship and I will tell you the only thing that detracts me from saying this thing is kick ass, awesome, beautiful, the best ship in the world is the rear landing gear. I would have put blisters on the back of the ship underneath kind of like the Redeemer does, you know, has instead of these big obnoxiously cartoonish looking landing gear that are on it. But for that reason, most of the time I'll be looking at this ship, those landing gear are going to be up and stowed, and if it's on the ground, I ain't looking at it anyway because I'm not flying it. So I need to get past that, and I'm just looking for the one thing that changes my mind as to which one I would buy, and the key here is, you put either one of these in the pledge store, and it's gonna wind its way over here in my hangar. And this is just an, another amazing looking ship. And it's sitting in front of my Hornet F7CM and my Aurora LN over there in the back. And it looks like it fits very well. One of my favorite designs in the show and definitely one of my favorite designs here in my hangar now. Um, hard decision, hard decision, hard decision. If I was forced at gunpoint to make a decision, it would be the Redeemer because 
I just think it's cleaner and more complete on the exterior, but we have no idea because we are not allowed inside of these. It might be something inside that says, you know what, this one makes more sense to me than that one does. And just this one view right here, there'll be a big turret sitting underneath the chin. There'll be the turrets and missiles, which you can see in the wing roots and stuff. Oh my lord, this thing is going to be hot. And uh, I think that the more traditional um, freelancer type spinny uh, thruster, main thrusters, are going to give this one an edge in some of the people. But either one of them is going to deserve a win. For me, though, I, I, I need to look at the Redeemer and say it's for me. But please, make your decision tomorrow. Amazing ships, guys. Really amazing. I, I just can't believe the work and effort that went into building these two ships by these two groups and everybody else that was involved. So hopefully tomorrow, as I'm putting together SCAA number 31, we will have a winner that I could talk about. You all have a wonderful night. I will talk to you soon. Uh, 